It was not long ago when me and the group went deeper into the zone to explore previously unvisited locations, find a new safe path, and search for artifacts, of course. But we could not stay in one place for long, so we planned a new expedition for the next day, hoping we could find something valuable. We were three men, Shadow, an experienced stalker, and my friend. He can find anyone, sneak anywhere, take anything, and leave without being noticed. The navigator, he can take you anywhere, find a way out of any place. He knows the zone like his five fingers. And me, Uncle Coin, providing with good mood, quality humor, great talent of making money out of anything, and enough firepower to scare away the mutants, or my friends with my reckless shooting. <laughs> we woke up early, packed enough provisions, and set course for the Dark Valley. The navigator had noticed a path going into the forest, a few hundred meters away from the bandit base, when he was escorting a group of stalkers through the valley, to avoid the road near the garbage. There was a rumor of a bandit ambush in that area, so they needed a guide to reach the cordon. The navigator noticed the path, went to look and was immediately blasted with high dose of radiation. He looked at the map and believed that this might be an undiscovered path leading directly to or nearby the army warehouses the Freedom Base, meaning if his theory is proven true, anyone who wants to travel deeper into the zone without going through duty territory could use the new path, for a good price, of course. We were prepared for the radiation, we had enough anti-rad medicine with us, and some vodka. We reached the location in the afternoon, set up a camp to have lunch, and continued on our journey. As expected, the place was very radioactive, but we moved quickly, and after a hundred or something meters, the radiation levels dropped to a normal level. We traveled further into the wooded area for a few hours, and we were already looking for a place to set up a camp for the night, when Shadow stopped, looked around, and asked us if we noticed something strange. What strange thing? I asked. To which he replied, Have you heard any sound in the last ten minutes? Me and Navigator looked at each other a little confused. But Shadow was right. The mutants were quiet. The leaves of the trees did not make any sound. Even the wind was silent even though we could feel it. Something was not right, but we continued. After a kilometer we noticed an unusual sight, a bunker going underground. The light at the stairs was on, there was some almost silent buzzing sound, and at the end of the stairs there was a locked blast door. We all attempted to open it, but no use. It was locked good. As we were going out, I noticed something under the light of the lamp on a navigator's head, which I did not see outside because of the shade of the trees and the dimming daylight. There was a small amount of blood coming out of his ear. I looked in shock. I told him, but he could not hear me. So I grabbed him by his arm turned him around slightly to have a better look, to make sure I was not seeing things. I was not. It was blood. I made a gesture to touch his ear, and he noticed the blood too. We both were looking each other confused when Shadow came closer, and pushed us to notice him. He was whispering, Are we deaf? We knew something was not right. We rushed outside, moved a few meters, when an instinct told me to look up at the sky. It was glowing reddish-orange, but it was too bright for a sunset. 
It was an emission. I grabbed both my friends and pointed at the bunker. There was no use of talking. They could not hear me. Living in the zone long enough gives you the ability to adapt quicker, the instinct to learn faster. They understood what I was trying to say without any words, and we ran towards safety. The emission was gone as quickly as it started. We were safe and alive inside the bunker. As we were going outside I heard again the same buzzing sound as it was inside my head. When we were out, we walked straight back where we were coming from. Suddenly we lost interest in making a camp, exploring or discovering new paths. We did not even care to follow the path we came from. A few steps through the shortcut, Shadow was tripped by something in the bushes. He looked at it, and it was some strange device. A box with an opening and a small antenna on top. I do not blame him for his action, I would have done the same. He shot the box and broke it. Suddenly the buzzing sound stopped, and little by little, my hearing came back. Let me tell you, the zone of silence is anything but silent. In the distance, a thunderstorm was roaring, the wind was howling, the mutants were screaming in the forest, and our Geiger counters were beeping like crazy. Who knows how long we were in highly irradiated area without noticing. We did not need to see or hear anymore. We ignored our exhaustion and we walked as quickly as possible towards the dark valley. The very radioactive path where we started was right behind our backs in two hours. We were finally safe. The lesson here, stalker. Artifacts and money is great. But if a path is not on the map, there surely is a great reason for that. As what we found in that place, I do not want to know.